Uh, tonight is Gimel Elul uh, Tavshin Samech Tes, and we're learning um, Samech Tes. In 
Another word to that. The Bible says the Rebbe that uh, it's well known that the Mokia, the source from whence the coming into being of all his house means the bringing and the coming into being of all of the Elamas, we have ruined uh, and the created beings, me, I and Le, yes, because the word bru means a thing which is created, I and Le, yes. In other words, from the state of nothing to the something, me, I and Le, yes. Ain't a bore rock, me, midas, hamalthus. Well, that is only uh, shayat, and it's only applicable uh, from the level of spirits are hamalthus. She, me, midas, that there should be the coming into being of all the Nevroim. Now the word Bruim and Nevroim are similar. But Bruim is a more active form of noun and Nevroim is a more passive type of the noun, meaning that they just came and uh, where well, they just came about, it will brew him in the types that they were created beings. <coughs> so the Rebbe says that, that the way of a shepherd, a kuya, a chayas, a key, that they should be the hisavas of over the Nimroim, came only from the Midasar Amalfus. A Kamashikosu, Malfusko, Malfus Koloi, Lomen, as we say in Ashray. That uh, your Malchus, that is the Malchus of all the worlds, the Isavis, or Ignomus, who me midas ham Malchus dark. That the coming into the, into the being of all the worlds is dark if me midas ham Malchus. So now, <coughs> the expression me ayin leyesh. Well, we have to first of all define what it means by saying. The worlds come about, you know, even from Ayin Le Liesh. Well, the Chayla, it's uh, one of the famous Shaila on that language, from the nothing to the something. Ayin means the negation of an entity, and Yesh means the, like there's a word, uh, the Q, or the statement of an entity. So the Chayla, uh, you can't very well say that the Bria came about by even God. Because that, the country will say that the, the Bria is me, I in the edge. As they stated in the Kutatera, come and came as the Regis and come and Drushi. Because the Egg is the Emissa Yeish and the, and the Nibra is the Emissa I. So the third should be the other way around. We should say that the world comes about me, Yeish, La, La, I. In other words, it comes about from the Ametius, I, Yeish. And was the world, the Gabi the Abishta, all the Nibroim, the Gabi the Abishta, Ayin, were, were ever. So what do we mean by saying that the world came about me, Ayin, were, play it? Somebody walked into my room today and he said that the fridge does not there. So I said that's how it's done, the Indian at the, it's put down. But the Gemara says that greater are the works of the Tzadikim more than the creation of the, of the world. Because the creation of the world is me ayin le, le yesh. And the tzaddikim they make from yesh into ayin. So I said that the fridge there was there, now it's not there. Because me yesh le, but ayin, of course, not the, uh, suggesting that my rules got in to do with the bites of tzaddikim. Well, I'm quite a bit. But there, uh, uh, you know, how to call it by way of humor, it was an interesting uh, observation. That we see that that was a union from me, yes, law. I, they make yes back into I. Of what the etchum shaila is, how can you say that the union had come about in a way from the I and the yet? Well, that's exactly the Nakuta that we're after here. What we're, what we're trying to work out here is that everything comes from Malchus. And we're going to see that the union from Malchus is. That it it brings about a situation, the Gabi the Abishta, which is the Gabi Him Emissa Ayin. In other words, the Gabi Him it's a, a state of absolute nothingness, and that what's called Ayin, the Ila the Gabi the 
the Nivroim, they feel themselves to be a Hayesh. In other words, they come about in such a way that the Eivshter retreats into I, and he goes into a state, as it were, of negation of all of himself, as it were, I, and that brings about the Inan of the and the Hergish of the Nero that he feels himself to be a Hayesh. He cowards, if it was otherwise, if the Yesh of the of the Eivshter was Begolui, then the Nero would be I he he would be he would be would be taking yesh to a I in other words that if the emphasis the yesh or the yesh was begolui then the nira wouldn't be able to be a a nira in the rave of a yesh no it would be betachus a a bitul the I ever the only way is the yesh has to enter literally a state of I in he has to undergo he eyes himself so much that he can call himself to come himself I and then it's possible for them to be a Hayesh. And those are the Pshat Midas HaMalchus. That the Pa'ula of Malchus is that the Hayesh to withdraw through Malchus into a state of uh, separation and Hadola. And that allows uh, a very, very uh, tremendously limited uh, uh, radiation of him to reach forth into the Elamesh. That the Elam should be able to be an Eva for years. I'm a member of the Pshat, that the whole union of the Nebroi, me, Ayn Layesh, ain't no bore, it does not come rock only from Midasa Hamalachis, only from the, 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 the tenth of all the spheres, the last of all the spheres, but well, that's the sphere of Malchis, but from Malchis begins the jump into Elam's brief. Ashiya, that's the a passage of the divine light into, or the divine uh, 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 influence into uh, a state of a mocker becoming a mocker, and a source where the elements can be yet. In other words, that they can feel themselves as if they were an entity. Even though the truth remains that even after all that, of course, they're not really. They're really but the tough inside. A little of a, the divine purpose is that they should feel at least that they are a, a yesh. And that's the whole darkness that we want that you should feel you're a yesh and after you can you should become I. <laughs> I mean that's what's supposed to be. In other words, it is supposed to feel at the beginning a, a yesh. That's through the union of Midasa Hamalchis. But that is mid shemimida zoi stavke stavke from the inner of Malchus. Yeah, for the dim shachor there comes and there is derived. So we can say that the boar is the first aura, the first shining of Malchus kemoishu atayin in atzilos, and then dim shachor it's derived down. Yeah, the word dim shach is it of Malchi. Always indicates the idea of a passage, yeah, as it were, into another state. So, ever it's bore, but then it's nimshok, yeah, into a state of being a mokia to uh, be Mahavad. But he describes it as bore benimshok or oil, the shefa, the kuya, the highest of Elohim. Now, that's a lot of different words. Oil, Shefa, Oyech, Chayis, yeah, all of those words indicate different states in the divine derivation. Liyais, in order that it should be Isavis Kol Anim, Malchus, Malchus, Kol Anim, In other words, that everything, all the Elohim is derived from Malchus. It's well known the famous deal, but we don't go into it, it's not so good to the Pshat here. The famous deal that Malchus Ha, Malchus Kol Elohim is like also two level, two statements. Your Malchus is the Malchus of all the world. Well, it has been said your Malchus is the Malchus. Your, your, your Malchus is all the world. Why do we say Malchus Ha, Malchus? Because the two uh, levels in Malchus Kufa, as long as this Malchus are, it's Miyuchat Goyiz Barak, and then there's even Malchus Kol Elohim. I oh, we're more concerned with the Malchus Kol Oilam. Yeah, the Infamalchus are the Shredder of all the uh, Oilam. 
So therefore we need to understand what are these uh, different terms, Boya, Veshefa, Bakuyafa, Bakhai. Some of us said that Ar is a Siba who comes from Ar. Can you? In some of us we said that Ar was a Siba and it comes from it comes from Bufne at Simsa. Right, right, right. So uh, that's what we're gonna discuss now. So we we we, uh, we talked about the union of Khoyer, Veshefa the Koyach Chaitz. So in some of our parishes, we already had the difference between oil and Veshev. You know that, remember, uh, there are parishes in the, the Maim over there of Kisis of Moras, uh, one of the last one in we learned the difference between oil and Veshev. In other words, the Poya is the union of Mi'ain Ha Hamoya. The Ain is the Poya, uh, is the Kilo we have, is Mamish Gilo Ha'et. Him. I remember that's Maya, you know, so even a Maki, yeah, like he mentioned that now the inoffensive the Kola, it's not so directly concerned with him, does it the Indian, but the Etsum Gila, which is a Maila, from being able to be Niscabo in the Nib, the Nibroi. And then we saw that Shefa, but that was Dafti there, which is Mitstante, in a form of Mamari Kola, I mean, when it becomes Dafti the Fiat of them. Yeah, the Eglamas, and Kabiyoko, which causes a certain yeah, uh, tilde on the part of the Mokya, which is Mashpia. In other words, that's only after the Abes have been metatsing himself, out of Kedekar, to be Mishkara, and Nivroim, and that's one well known, that's the difference also. There's a cloud between the union of Das Elin and Das Dachte, the whole uh, famous Arif is going to get to the Shaila of uh, Yediyah Vabe, Bechira, the Abish that knows everything that the Rochera is not Chira, Bechulibha, Bechulib, the same kind of Moki, Abshah, the Lahari, Bezer. However, that's the union of Oya and Shefa. Oya is the union of the Oya Hameya between his Makiv and Buti Slabshiz in the Nebroim, and Shefa is the union of Mamali, how it comes down to an open point, the Oya Slabshiz and Shaykhiz to the Nebroim. And then there's another famous lotion which occurs in Tanya. Uh, the Alta Rebbe, particularly in the latter, Proki, in Tanya, it's going on the Alta Rebbe, they use the expression, Oyer V'chayis V'choyak. He, he keeps repeating it twice or three times of the, the lotion that the, the, the divine influence into the world is, you know, even for Oyer V'chayis V'choyak. So Chassidus uh, deals with that in in Barifis, uh, one of those three uh, Shainas, and this famous Maimorim, called the Rebbe Nishmasi Eben, <coughs> and Tofrei Shamat is a, a famous Maimor over there, but he's provided that in in Barifis, it's up to do with Chanukim, the Maimor from Chanukim. But we had come to make him as Chassidus was saying, Karamokim, Lahari, Pekola, and Koyres, it says, that deals with them, the altar of his lesson over there is Puyer of the Chayis for Koyak. And interestingly enough, in many places, the Ropayim is slightly mishan of that, and they use the expression Puyer of the Koyak for Chayis. Even though uh, you can maybe, if you read Machatus in, in Tanya, read the Inyonim in the altar, but you can maybe find where he also says Puyer of of it. In the mock that we uh, were referring to, we use the expression Oya Vachayas Vakoya. So the Rabbeim explained that the two extremities are Oya Vakoya, and Chayas is like a midpoint, like a, a muta point, uh, it's like between them. And as we said, the Indian from Oya is the Indian which is Maya, Mi'ain Hamoya El Kola, Inyonim, Oya Vakoya, for Puti. Mislavish came over there at some point. And Koyach is only a uh, Indian uh, specifically similar to the Indian of Shefa. Therefore, he writes the Indian from Koyach alongside the Indian of Shefa. In other words, that Koyach is only how uh, the Abishter has been Matanum. Whenever you use the word Koyach, you mean something specific, limited, with a, 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 a definite uh, um, aim and a definite uh, function. Uh, that's already limited and specificized and defined 
that you call koyas. For example, you say koyas have re'iyah. There's an ability of the, of the eye to actually see and, and, and limit itself to uh, able to be koyas in yonim, which is called re'iyah. The same with koyas hashmi. It's a very specific power, a certain clean. And it, so it's brought down and said that that is the, the uh, divine influence which is nimshed dakya from the cave. In other words, that the reason we can is that the Lord puts it here after the word shefa, yeah, because the uh, the uh, the oil, as we've said, is a, a shefa which always remains muda, so to so, so. always separate and not mamish bishlapshis in the nivoy, as we saw there in some book. The ilu, the kalim of atzilus, are also megala uh, 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 with bind influence. And on the contrary, it's put down in Tanya and it goes up in. in uh, in the country of Sakharin, but the Alter Rebbe over there on the country, the, the Kalim, they really become the, the Shefa from the Kalim, or he becomes the Uyer of Elam Abriya Yitzir Abiyya. See, in other words, it's like a Shafat, the Kalim, but they become, they become Uyer and Elam Abriya Yitzir Abiyya. It follows from that that the Indian from Koyach is a different type of, it's a, a, a a type of oil, but it's nimshed from the kalim dakke. Eh? In other words, that it's a oil which is told inyan is dakke to be mahave and bring about the matias and the nivroim and specific limited uh, oifan. And in that regard, it's similar to the inyan It's similar to the inyan from shefa. However, we could say that sochoso shefa is also shy to the slabshes pnimias. But either the Indian from Koya is more shot to the edge of Misabas or Kli or Gufais of the Nevoi, where they are uh, either in Oil Masaviyenu or Oil Masatach. Not to him. And Chayas is like a, a, a midpoint, like a Mamuta between Oya Vakoya or Sheva Vakoya. And that's uh, um, uh, 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 an Indian, like we find in the Guf of the Odom, we find that the uh, Chayus is a lesson referring to the to the nefesh, and we say that the avonim they have their own chayus as it were. Mitzat the guf, mitzat the koy, the actual koyches have their own chayus, and then there's a, a ha'orah from the nefesh which is made of the slavish into those avonim. Well, that's called chayus, but it's not the immediate spoiler of nefesh because the spoiler of nefesh is made a few of mitzat the moyach. It's may, uh, you know, even clearly what that's called the, the, the highest clearly. So therefore, highest is like a midpoint. So similarly, in the Indian and Ilumus, we also find that. And therefore, those are the Lashinas, Oya, Veshefa, Vakoya, Chayim. It's very interesting, the present. It gives a, a how do you call it, a shos, which you might say is like a, a how do you call it, a, 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 a double barrel a, a shot uh, of all those Lashinas. At one, yeah, at one go, what do you call dot com? Yeah, so, so, so. But, yeah, the, uh, uh, all at one go, because that's indicatory ultimately of the whole union for the age me. I, you know, in the age me, I involves all those in your mind. It involves her, because prayer is the etim, koya, the etim, dulium, the part of the age, you can be all that's her, I say, you mean, but the etim, koya to be Mahavi, the age me, I. And then there's the infant shepherd, which is. Remus uh, for the moment, because otherwise the intelligent reader, his eyes jolt out when he sees all those statements, and he, he wonders to himself what are these different phrases. So I've, uh, I've taken the liberty to indicate what are the, the basic ideas of those uh, phrases, and why they shot up into the scene of Yeshmi, Yeshmi So he says, <laughs> Malchus 
Teisavis or Elamis, Umi Midasam Alchis Tavke. The coming about of all worlds is precisely from the inning of Alchis. So you now might say, well, what does Malchus have to do with the whole Indian? Why is it up to you that all these in your name of Kuya and Shefa and all those things come about up to you through the Indian of Spirits of Malchus and they make it possible to be Yesh, Mei, Ai, the Kavioho, the Yesh, the Haids. So ever, the Rebbe begins now with a Pio, what is that Indian in Malchus which leads to the Yisavas of Mei, Ai, yeah. But it begins with a shine. The FLP, FLP is always a question. FLP always hints at a cash. Even though, cafe, cafe, nonetheless, cafe, the cap. So that's the whole basic Indian. There's an old cloud that you, you, you can't make something by running away from. You can only make something by being mischaracterized. In other words, if I want to make double plenty, then I can't run away from it. Just hope that it's going to come about on its own. Elamai, yeah, I have to, if I'm, if I'm going to make it, then I have to be somehow or another mischaracterized. Elam, a dollar. Oh no. In other words, if I'm going to actually bring it about, then there's got to be. Akiru Baishu even Elatova Hazer. It's how is it possible that by withdrawing from something that I'm gonna be Mahavi it, I'm gonna actually bring it about. So ever that says that's the Alpha P. Now how can I say that everything comes from Malchus? We know that Malchus is the Indian for what we call Rikuk. Malchus is distance. And I never how from distance are we gonna get his his habit. Therefore, we're going to find that Malthus has itself an amazing combination of what you might call the omnipotence of the Eibushta. The Metallachad, the Inuk of Malthus is Rechuk, as the Inuk of retreat and withdrawal altogether. And at the same time, it's a Kuechot bringing about. But the two unite together, and it's bringing about by going out, by going away. And what is the Moshul? Is it? is the Moshko of the king. So we see that a king, what is the Ike Hatzlocha of a king? Where? Simple. Very nice. The Ike Hatzlocha of the king is that he's moved up, how do you call it? Elevated and exalted. Mi al Kola Dayore Hamadina. Because if he was just one of the guys, you know, that he wouldn't be a he wouldn't be a king. And on the contrary, the more that he is moved up, the more he is mufla, muruma from the people, the more the people become uh, bought to him. And on the day what they become bought to him, then he's able to be my my spear to them uh, in an even of uh, 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 cube and even uh, ribui shefa to them because the more they're bottled to his rainbows then the more he's able to give them because if you're not bottled then you can't you can't re receive in other words if you're not bottled then you if you're a yes then you resist the uh, the shepherd but if you're bottled then you recover the other shepherd and we see that the Indian and Malchus has in itself two uh, opposites altogether on the one hand it's a complete withdrawal, and on the country, the more the king is Muruma and exalted, the more he's Hatzlocha, uh, the king, and the more he's likely to have tremendous effect over the whole of the, the Medina, and to run the whole Medina, Manish Kamoja, Shatari. Yet, on the other hand, he can't just run away from the Medina and stay there. There's got to be some sort of a, a connection to the Medina and a giving to the Medina. How is his giving become Shaiyev? Dabkya, the day that he was Mishrachi from the Medina, then his giving becomes uh, Shaiyev.
Prabhupada becomes in such a way that the people who receive don't really know anything about the king from what they read. See, all they know is they got what is due to them, what is good for them. Of a, they have no Asoga Klau Klau, who the Melech really is, because he's put to be a Tachlis. And that's good for them. Now, because he's put to be a they don't really have any Asoga, well, that's what keeps them at tears. The Demachi is going. Of the Demachi is the Tachlis Arichok from the king. I mean, but that's the concept of Yesh Me. Yeah, of Ayin to Yeh. Yeah, first of all, there's an Ayin of an Ayin, the Ayin of complete withdrawal on the part of the king, the Ayin of Visnasas, to the point that there's absolutely like no Kesha between him and the peoples, because he's been so completely withdrawn from them. And then, yeah, there's the Ayin of him giving a very limited, what is by him, a very limited shepherd to them. Of oh, that becomes by a tremendous amount of, uh, of shepherd, because it gives them everything they need in the right way for them and in the proper way. Mami, that's the concept of Malchus we're about to describe. First of all, Malchus creates a union of Ayin, and then from that state of Ayin, it becomes a, a Tanua Ophius, which is called Yeh. So, that's what he says, the FLP. In other words, the Kashi is that how can we say everything comes from Malchus? Malchus in for Rimamus and withdraw. In other words, they in for negation. So how can we say everything comes from that? You can't run away from something and put it and make it. And that's the FOP. The FOP should be that some Malchus he begins Rimamus and it's asked to be Smasus. It's in and of elevation and self elevation. You had a good self exaltation. In other words, withdrawal. It's rooted from everything, even from the elements of El Yainim, even from all the Madrigas in the whole Bria, even if Amalthus is completely with, withdrawn altogether. In other words, the union of Rimamus, which indicates Rihuk. He named it Tzadze Oh, that's the terror. So we said, Mitzat Zegufa, Dafki from that in its very soul. Yeah, Dafki from the fact that he withdraws, and from the Rimamus, and from the complete separation and withdrawal, he and Mitzat Zegufa, Usha Nimsha, Mipkina Samalthus, Mokayali, Hisavas, Oilamus, Mihaimla. Yeah, Dafki from that, there can be Nimsha, Hachachach, and Mokya for the Hisavas of the because if he was Bakiru, yeah, then we said everything would be just bottled, there would be no play. There wouldn't be able to be any, any materials of the air. I doubt you from the fact that the age withdraws completely and he believes only, uh, we're, we're going to see how or dear, how or dear. It's uh, uh, a little luminescence which is actually of no error to him whatsoever. I doubt you, you know. There can be a market to all the Indian of the Elamas, because otherwise they wouldn't be in an Elam of the Yes, they would be all Batakasa, a Beetle of Matthias, Elam is Bora. And then what Dafke from that whole withdrawal, Dafke from that way, you have a market to Ayin, yes, to bring about from Ayin, yes. In other words, we've got to reach a state of absolutely nothing like Gabi Him. That's the Indian of the with. Uh, that's the union of the withdrawal. Oh, then it's possible for the beginning of the yesh. The birday she yes has had that there should be in the coming into being of something which feels itself and feels itself to be a, an entity and feels itself to be an existing union. Doesn't feel itself bought out completely and absolutely absorbed in the union of course. Who are you today? At Simtum. Shemitan. So remember that stuck the day the infant symptom. What is the infant symptom? That he, he uh, contracts and he goes mitzamtim. He contracts and he withdraws and he had called he hides the oyer ha atzmers. In other words, he withdraws the whole inner of the oyer which was mayer mimen or his body. In other words, the haor. Atzmius, well, we're going to see shortly, is such a thing. In other words, there's a Ha'ora which is Megala the Etim and is the whole Indian of the 
the edge of his Mishkala in that Ha'ora, and that's called the Oer Ha'atzmi, the Oer Mishkala. The Ebsu was Metzamtzim, the Hainu, he withdrew and retracted that whole Oer, which was the Gilly of his Atzmas, and he left over only, we're going to see, he left only a union of a Ha'odeh Ha'odeh, and for that it comes about the union of the Ha'odeh Ha'odeh. But for in order that there should be the heirs, or he's Metzamtzim, who must still Uyur Ha'atzmi. Now we see that there's such a thing, there is such a thing of Uyur Ha'atzmi. So in other words, that there's a Gilly of Uyur, which is Mamish Megala, then the heirs of Mam. Now why do we say that? Why don't we just say Shemastia Ha'atzmi? Why do we say Mastia Lo'oyer Ha'atzmas? That's another big cloud. The Cholat Siddhas, we don't say Cholila, we have about this in some of our That we don't want to say that he actually saw it in, in uh, 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 Vayel of Hashem and Sayyam, we have the whole reason there. That they, we don't want to say that the Yisabas was Mamish Miyat's Musa, he's part. But we say that the Yisabas was only from Oyer, not from the of the arts. Uh, the fact we have to say that even the oil harishin, which which occurs in another tip, so well that's also in oil, but not mamshin arts, musa is part. And have we said that there's such a thing which is called oil ha arts? In other words, a ha ora, which is all in and it's only kilo ha arts. So that's the emphasis in and of oil, to be quite frank. That's the immediate sinian of oil. And therefore, the aims is met something who must hear. What must hear means that he, first of all, what something means he retracts it. He doesn't allow it to have the same uh, intensity of giveaway. And then must hear, even that he hides that you can't really recognize. That's the word must hear. Yeah, that Indian between the Sarimamas. Or that Indian of Tsimtsum, or that's what we call Rimama. Why? Because through the Tsimtsum he goes away from us. Yeah, it becomes he and his oil arts becomes withdrawn between you and him, they're like a big yeah, have sex, which is like the tips. As she said, in Prince of Ramus, the Malchus, Shuin and I hear them, we have still, that's the hiding and the curtaining off, as it were. She misalim ha oer ha atzmi. Once again, oer ha atzmi, the essential light, the light which is given by the atzmas, well, that goes into a uniform. Helim, Esther, to the Tzimtzum, Ve'achahat Tzimtzum, after that tremendous Tzimtzum, but it's one on the, the, the beer we're going to get to the Tzimtzum, Harishain, that that's like a retraction and a, a withdrawal, and that Tzimtzum, at the earth, completely, it's almost like a vacuum left over, as one on the famous beer was there. After that is Nimshat Racha or Diha. Or a liver. After that, there's only Nimsha, a luminescence, or a luminescence. In other words, the original uh, in in which the symptom occurs is also our It's only a aura. And here we're talking about now, after the symptom, it becomes only a aura of a ha. A aura. We'll see later on, he even uses the expression aura, di aura, di ha. Aura just keeps going from each level of oil, even further luminescence built. Where's the k- Kerel? Where's the, the Kerel? The yeah, the 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 that's what he gives you, that little hour and the hour. As you might say, in the, in the, in the well, that's what you get. <laughs> you have to be tremendously pleased. <laughs> because that's what makes you into a yes, but ultimately we'll see. That's what gives you the ability to uh, take it from the yard uh, as a tiny scholar of Melech and Mashiach, and then we'll all be bottled the Tafas, a beetle to the Ura, Ach me mommy. If you hadn't got this Ura Matsumsum at the beginning, then you would just be completely and utterly bottled. Now that you got it that way, then you're able to be McCabal. You know the famous march, because you remember the Rebbe that someone said, I already told you several times, that those who have been and they struggle and make an effort to try and understand the divine light, when it will be revealed, ooh, ooh, and they say, ooh, aho, oh, you know, like you've been struggling with a kasha or something, and you have no idea what's in the Torah, all of a sudden you realize what the Torah says. You say, aho, yeah, but if you didn't, then when the archery becomes musical, then it's going to go, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you won't know what's 
at the beginning, darkness and then afterwards, light. Rashi says it's written at the beginning, the first of how to make to Ha'im, written on the first day, the first of all there was Ha'isha, Ha'yayim Ha'alim Yehi, Ha'yayim Ha'alim Yehi, Ha'yayim Ha'alim Yehi, Ha'yayim Ha'alim Yehi, so we see the first of all there was Ha'yayim from Ha'isha, Ha'arana, Ha'yayim afterwards there was light, so he said that's a Shimon, and that's a reference to the Briyasha show, show Ha'yayim. And he asked him, I said, oh, yes, he's in this going good. So he, asked him, he asked him another shadow there or something about uh, why is it that the, the goats cover their backs with their tails and the sheep don't? Uh, not of so an amazing uh, master. So he answered him also a similar opinion and escaped out of me. So he starts uh, hitting all these different haloli alma, did he, Mark Olson, you know, strange shivers about the world. So it's a very amazing. Mashua over there is a Mashua about this big. I'm telling you, the Mashua deals over there with that um, uh, tomorrow. And he learns into all sorts of amazing shilas about things that happened in the history of the world. Why was it that the first of all the Greeks took over and then only afterwards Eden and there and the first of all it was the Mahfus and then afterwards it was the Mahfus from Eden and that and so on. So, 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 uh, so Mashua about this big. You know, he talks about all them. So he learns that in all sorts of shilas, uh, and he says you can't just say he was just asking just about the creation of the world because uh, there's a lot more to it than that. And he and that, yeah, we say kind of more in the lines of being them. But the Siddhas learns of the Pashtun. Siddhas learns that it was a inan of a shilas when he get to the whole inan and that the Rabbi Huda was maramis to the children of Alisha in Medami. Anyway, I give it. Um, it's, um, yeah, I forgot about it. It's, 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 um, are you going to be around? Uh, are you going now? Yeah, tomorrow. Okay. Oh, yeah. Maybe, maybe I might send it over to the house or something. Okay. Okay. Anyway, yeah, 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 yeah. it's a Rabbi Huda says the Gemara was Maramis to the Holy Name of the Tzimtz of Marisha. And the Tachoisha called Pnei Tachoim, that was the Hina from the Tzimtz of Mar. That was the Hina from the Tzimtz of Mar. The Shein, Vahoda, and the Hina, those are the Hina, huh? Had it correct? And the Uyah, which came about after the Tzimtz of the Erakah, which was Maya, after the Tzimtz of Mar. And that's what they call Nire, or we can already be with Kabul that After there was a Eden. But that implies, well, one, it tends to imply that there was a Uyr even before that. Was that a, a, a Khoisha? And then afterwards, Uyr, the Siddha says that the Pshat is, and that means that there was really a Uyr who made that, and that was the Uyr Atzmi, and that's Kilo, how we hinted that in the Torah, it's not been mentioned more for this. Yeah, before the yeah, last written in Rashi, but of, Automarisha was mistakio, but yet we be suffer by it on the outside way. But when I got to a leader, there was once again I encountered kind of him to get involved in the country uh, in and over there. I was suffice it to say that that implies that there was a way of actually quite good in and in and out of it. What implies that there was a way of quite in place? Huh? How do we know that there was oil before? Because uh, uh, according to what we're saying here, that is only a oil which came from somewhere. It's not that, uh, because of Hodder? Yeah, so we have to say that uh, there was a union from Choyesha. That oil and Nira oil is only a, an achievement of the Choyesha. It's not that there was no oil cloud. Whatever we have to say, if he's there, we have to understand the Gemara. The really, really meant that not everything began only with Choyesha. Choyesha could not even Tzimtzum. Tzimtzum is not a Indian, it's just on its own. There has to be something to be Matamtzum. The Torah, according to Tzimtzum, is a Choponim. And Lechera, also according to the, the understanding in the Gemara, is, it means that, that, that I mean, everything began only with Choyesha. There is a begin with Choyesha. So what it means is that there was a Choyesha before there was the oil that we are Matamtzum. The oil that we know is oil. There was a, a Tzimtzum with nature. Uh, 
persuasive this may be. So, I remember there's an old title of the photo system, it's a bit of a sort of funny. It's not just a normal from a verse from Rabbi Mendoza. And he brings out as a Gemara and Bob Abbasa, where the Gemara says that the Rabbi Eliezer, Rabbi Eliezer, Rabbi Eliezer, before he died, he used to always be in the stall to give a stock here. He used to give a stock here. And then after he would, uh, he would die. So the word Hoda means an afterwards. So he ties his nose. Hoda means uh, beautiful. The word Hada can also mean beautiful, shame. So he says, Yoy Prute, Lo Oni, Behoda Matsli. Who is such a kid down at Zer Shay? You guys understand it? Remember, maybe he ties here the same thing, you know, Beratia. You know, Beratia is such a way to hold you for the tip, so it was only the other, you know, you know, the earth which was made with the beginning, we only had all the other. Oh, so then you come to the, uh, to the Zerashain of the earth. Anyway. I, uh, I, I like these little, uh, how do you put it, uh, titles. So anyway, so he says, Oh, that's a very nice type. So think about it, huh? This is good. Yeah, get the fruit. It's a shame. I get the fruit. 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 That's the year which comes after the creation by Helen Dafke. That's the year which comes precisely after there's only been the creation. What does creation mean? Choyla, choyshek, in the sense of only choyshek. That's the year of Helen from the new royal, that's called choyshek. And ultimately speaking, there choyshek is so for so. Like we said, hold on, Helen, it's a shame of life. Ultimately, the whole one is to give us the, the, the answer life. So therefore, yeah, it's which is as it were nothing, like Abi Hashem, to give rise to something which builds itself to be a I in other words, behind if that oil original oil, the oil asked me, the oil I was, yeah, prior to the temple, if that would be my mayor, Kamoi Shahu, the Hain of Kings of Pinius, the Achmius Shaloi. Now, why does everybody say Hain of the Kings of Pinius, the Achmius? Because soft or soft, even that oil which is mea liacha hatimtum is anyway the same oil. Cholila to say it's another oil, but it's only a haora di haora le levora. Soft or soft, it's the same oil. And therefore, what do we mean by saying that the everything was the salam ali de hatimtum? We mean to say that it was the pnimis and the atmis of the oil. In other words, that in the oil kufar, it was the pnimis and the atmis, it was the salam. Ultimately speaking, what is maya after the symptom is not another oil. It's just that it's a, a, a symptom and a aura of the original oil. Therefore, all that's been uh, misalim is not the oil completely. It's been only misalim, the pnimis uh, and the achmi of the oil. And if that had been maya, k'moishu, wehoyu misavim oilamets klavu finis that the Ulamas wouldn't have been able to come about and they wouldn't be able to be being and be in a state of being as a yesh and a machia's dog. And let me see if you notice the addition that Rabbi puts in here that they're not only a yesh but they become also a machia's dog. I want to say that that means stuck in the Ulamas are tattooed in the Ulamas. I know Bria, particularly Asiya, See, our roof is in front of the Hagashmi. We say that there, not only is it a, a, a yes, but it's a, a Machias 
Bedoro. In other words, that we could say that in Oilam Asaliyanim there's also a certain trace of a yes. Because Bria is only a yes. Obviously, since Bria is the first Oilam, for example, that Bria is close to the iron, that's close to the iron of the key. It ever was in a state of ritual, but Taklis, it ever even though it's a yes, you can't really call it yes in the full sense. As well on the famous appeal of the Ramban, that he's my vayya, that the Indian world of my is what he calls Khoymer Hayyuni. It's like a Khoymer, but it's, a, it's only like a, 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 a potential state of a, of a Khoymer. It's not really a Khoymer. And so after the tips of a Bria in the Yatsira, that's the word Yatsira, the Gabi, the Gabi Bria. Bria just means the Yatsam Hamtsua of a thing which could be a year. Yitzhira means that you've shaped it. And I mean, uh, yesh can be a word which can even apply to a very high element of a machiyah's doa to feel itself to be a mamish, uh, an existing entity which almost feels its own self. It doesn't really sense so much the demokia, but that's in the lower element. So that's the ultimate title is that there should be not only a yesh, but also a machiyah's yeah, machiyah's doa. But if I was in the mood for it, I could tell you uh, an old Sisha quip, but we won't go into that for the moment. He said, everybody said, but means Yeshu Matthias Dova. Kiim, he said, Dafke, me pinach ha ore de ha ore. When can there be a Yeshu Matthias Dova? Dafke, when it only comes from ha ore de ha if it was made of the pneumus, the atmias of the earth, and everything would not be able to be a yet. How can it be a yesh of Matthias? Only through undergoing a hour of diha, or a luminescence from a luminescence. mahus atmos or er, cloud. It's not the mahus atmos of the earth at all. Now, notice he doesn't say it's another word, it's another thing over there. Just says it doesn't have in itself a mahus for atzmas of the yeah, of the original prayer. Say in your bria yesh me ayin. Does it a pshat of the yesh me ayin? Shuhu pechinas helam veester haboyrei mi anim. In other words, that the original mocky, which is mahave, or that goes into a state of helam veester from the thing which it's bringing about and hides completely from it. Shamokya ha mahava mis alem u mis tateh me adova ha mita. That's the cloud. That the whole union of yesh mi ayin is that the mokya which is mahava goes in the, as it were, hiding in the hill and burst from the thing which it brings about. Shimoya maiya alav vagilui lehoya vuchinas matiyas yei. Yeah, because if it would be Maya upon it, but Galui, then it wouldn't be in a Matthias of, of Yes, it wouldn't be a Mir, but it would be Nikla or Bottil in the earth, and it wouldn't be Yes, but Now we start off with a whole new uh, Indian, which we'll have to leave this for the coming year. Gradually, hopefully, once we get used to the terminologies, we'll cut a bit more speed. But now we enter the Kiyotua said the Rebbe, I have fresh pain, ilava, all holy yesh, main, ayin. Now we touched on this also briefly in some of our one or two pieces. That there's a big difference between two different forms of ishtauslas or, or two different forms of kilui, mea mashpiyam el mekabin. One is the inviation of ayin, what the ayin is, is kilu the mashpiyam, and the yesh is kilu the mekabin. Oh, but that's in you know, even what we just saw of Hilava Esther and Shpia Mir Kabu. Nonetheless, we call it a form of Ishtaus, it's a form of Ishtaus. And then we said there's another Ishtaus, which is source, point, and the root. Ilava Alu. Now, in Ilava Alu, it's not like that. In other words, we're going to draw an essential difference between the Ishtaus and Ilava Ilava Alu. We're going to show that in Ilava Olu, then the source point is Dafka Mikara itself to the, I'm sorry, the, yeah, the source point is Mikara itself to the derivative, and the derivative is near and is Mikara Pukinimius from the 
de man spier op de zoospoort. De hier nog niet eens meer aan het bedoel gehad, maar voor het komen is, maar ik zou voor het niet zeggen dat de misaven is misvragen, ik heb misvragen, maar ik ben completely misaling van de monkey. Dat is wat ik ook aan het zeggen. De heffers betwijn ille we alle leeg mee aan de ille we alle hoes ja ille mee hier bekiloe el ha alle. It shines in the state of kilo in the alle in the derivative. Die mee jo is ja kilo een en maar hoes voor arts moet zijn ille. Gezien we worden de alle we vinden bij de ille. That's to be some difference between the maspier and the picado. So there was not mamish the etch and mahus of the ille. It's only in a way of all of them, but all of them, but we call mocking, nonetheless. But he has all the mamish me a ille. It's mamish a ha ole, we can only kill it a etchem. It's a ha ole, but it carries with itself the kill of the whole etchem. Just like we originally we described here, which is me a me a moe, but the kill is also me similar to that idea. It's a kill of the etchem. Maar met de haore van die ille in te die alle hoe is met de gille haar haar eetse. Even dat zo'n ja gille hoe je het snap, maar is de alle hoe de ille himself. Dus als het de ille himself, dan moet het weer, ja, dan moet het weer niet hebben wel bij de ille waar alle. Maar het is een haore arts, maar het is even dat ik hem had te be very close en te wake hem zeer bezig. So we're talking about coming class phase of Shem. Uh, what a devil tried to say that even though the ill is mislabesh in the Oru, yeah, nonetheless they remain yeah, close. One to the medical sofa, so it's only a uh, uh, Oru, which is from the ill. Although ultimately they become very close to that assumption and they unite together because literally the ill gives of him all itself, despite the fact that he only gives a Oru. Uh, so we'll see about that uh, as we go up. Uh, Allowing further and coming in and developing uh, episodes, and that is we're going to see we have to going to give some correct examples of uh, what is ill about all of them. Some Indian in Nepal, all of them from the Indian of ill about all of them. Okay, so I'm just going to pop up the old one. We done about eight minutes. And I'll try to call up some tomorrow, but I'm tremendously busy. If somebody could uh, uh, make sure that somebody says something to him, but uh, uh